The women were getting out and they're going to work for some of the biggest technology companies in the world. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Wisdom from Five Nine, here to kickstart your day with Take Five, the program that introduces you to some of the most innovative and accomplished contact center experts from around the world. Five minutes, five questions, and you'll be thinking about customer experience in a whole new way. You ready? Well, let's get started. In this episode, we're focusing on women in tech, and I am excited to introduce to you Michelle Sirocco, Executive Director of the Televerdi Foundation. Thanks for joining us, Michelle. Thank you, Stephanie. First question, tell us a little bit about Televerdi and how the Televerdi Foundation came about. Okay, great. So Televerdi is a business-to-business -business sales and marketing uh, company that was founded 27 years ago based on the idea that providing women in prison with jobs, training, and education while they were incarcerated, that we could uh, build a profitable business while providing the women with the marketable skills necessary to transition back into the community um, and into, you know, meaningful and rewarding careers. And the company was founded by a gentleman who had a background in call centers. And he just thought, well, if I could open a call center in the prison, then we could teach them a skill. And then he, a few months later, met our co-founder, James Hooker, who had a background in technology. Jim was a former IBM sales executive. He bought and sold a couple of computer leasing businesses in the early 90s. And he really looked at the business and thought, you know what, if we could teach the women to sell technology, we could really build a profitable business and provide the women with skills that enable them to be successful in an industry that was going to be booming and less likely to be discriminatory against their kind of non-traditional background. Wow. So that's a really incredible program for women, but it's also really incredible for the community as a whole. Yes, it's um, so it's been a fabulous program. So like I said, we were founded 27 years ago, um, a single wide trailer, half a dozen women making phone calls from inside of a prison to today. We have seven call centers located in women's prisons in Arizona, Indiana and Florida, uh, currently employing about 400 women. But over the years have had um, over 4000 women who have worked for us while they were incarcerated who have transitioned back into the community to realize 95% employment, earning four times the national average for a formerly incarcerated woman, and actually realizing a recidivism rate, the rate at which people go back to prison of less than 6%, which is, wow. um, yeah, compared to the national average is about 60% of all people will go back to prison within three years. So can you talk a bit more about your mission statement and tell us about your new engagement centers? Yeah, absolutely. So um, really the, the mission of Televerdi is, you know, we set a goal to provide 10,000 life-changing opportunities within the next decade. And, and that was really what led to us starting the Televerdi Foundation. Uh, and the purpose of the foundation uh, was originally to make sure that the women of Televerdi had all of the personal and professional development programs that would enable them to come out of prison and walk into any company and sit down next to any person and feel confident in their role. The women were getting out and they're going to work for some of the biggest technology companies in the world. Companies like SAP, Adobe, Cisco were hiring these women and we wanted to make sure that the women felt confident in what they were doing. And so uh, we developed our first program around that idea. But then in addition to that, we realized that we couldn't reach our goal of 10,000 life-changing opportunities uh, as a business itself. We just couldn't scale the business large enough to reach that many women in that period of time. So right. we started what we call our career path centers. And essentially what we're doing is we're setting up workforce development centers where we are training the women to become customer service inside sales and computer tech professionals so that they can transition out of prison and have a similar opportunity as the women of Televerdi. Oh, that is so incredible. So how do you qualify and determine who can enter into this program? 
Yeah. So for the women of Televerde, they apply for it just like you would apply for any other job. We we post on the yard and the women submit an application and there's some fundamental criteria like they have to have a minimum level of education. Uh, they have to be able to type. They have to have a certain amount of time remaining on their sentence. And then they go through just like you would for any other job. The interview with a panel interview, typing test, uh, written analysis, just to make sure that they have the skills and they're going to be able to, to learn what they need to, to be able to do the job. But for the foundation, our idea behind the foundation was really to reach the women who don't have the opportunity to work for Televerde. There's 80,000 women who get out of prison every year, and each of them deserve the opportunity to really find and fulfill their, their personal potential. And so for our program, it's really just a matter of applying and having the desire and initiative to, to change your life. So um, we look at people who have a very short period of time remaining. We have no education requirements. Um, and when we interview them, that's really all that we're looking for is somebody who's kind of made a decision that they want to have a better life and they're willing to put in the effort to make that happen. What a powerful program. In that environment where traditional incentives like bonuses or time off aren't really applicable, how do you motivate and reward these agents? Well, I think the, the biggest motivator for them is the idea that they're going to have a better life as a result of this. I mean, they're all paid right. really well for their work while they're there. Um, it's actually the best paying job that's available. Uh, but in addition to that, they have the opportunity to participate in our reentry program, which also includes job placement programs for them. Uh, so that's the real motivator is that they have actually seen the women who have gone before them. Um, we've had over 4,000 mm -hmm. women go through our program over the past 27 years, and they've gone on, like I said, to work for some of the biggest technology companies in the, in the country. And so that in itself is a motivator because they can look at the other women and say, you know what, if she can do this, so can I. So the last and perhaps the most important question, how can others, including our viewers, get involved and help support the foundation? First, there's volunteers. We're always looking for volunteers to help uh, support the work that we're doing. People can go to our website, uh, TelebrityFoundation.org, make a donation. But from a business standpoint, uh, you know, the first thing that I would say is, is are you uh, including this population in your talent acquisition efforts? When we talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion, that means including everybody. And so um, have you banned the box and have you gotten rid of the background checks um, to include this, this population in your, in your business? Um, and then we have opportunities for businesses to get involved because I really believe it's time for uh, businesses to get involved in helping to solve some of the biggest problems in our country today. Uh, most people don't know this, but one in two people have an immediate family member that's currently or formerly incarcerated. Um, so this is a problem that's affecting everyone. And so people really need to you know, take the initiative to say, how, how can my company help fix this? And so from the foundation standpoint, you could become one of our hiring partners and um, develop a relationship with us where you will hire some of the women, women graduating from our program. Um, you can sponsor a cohort or a group of women going through the program uh, so that they are getting trained up and then you have an opportunity to hire them on as interns or full-time employees in your organization. Or you can actually come alongside of us and sponsor uh, the creation of a workforce development center, specifically saying, I will help you build a center and we will become a partner in training and developing the women to become uh, employees of our organization, essentially uh, creating a prison to workforce uh, pipeline for your own organization to address some of your you know, biggest talent demands. Thanks again, Michelle. What an amazing foundation. It has just been an absolute pleasure having you here today. Thank you very much. And, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to share the story. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Take 5 with Michelle Sirocco of Televerde. Remember to connect with 5.9 across all social media platforms and visit 5.9.com to learn more about how we can help you reimagine customer experience. I'm Stephanie Wisdom. Until next time.